supremacy. Does it exist in your world? Absolutely. And has it affected black men? Absolutely, it exists. And black men have worked in tandem with white supremacy since they've become in contact with it. Black men don't know, don't want to take accountability for what they've done. They want to be the victims of society, but then they want submission from the women. The bottom line is I'm not willing to deflect from the fact that, number one, black men are the greatest non-white contributors to white supremacy. Let's just be real. White supremacy couldn't even exist without black men's compliance. They're always up uplifting whiteness by racial children and trying to assimilate and that's oh, dr umar what just just real quick just because he's right does it make him always right and or flawless like on disciple level just you know what dr yeah. umar what have black men done well number one again i think that it is such a shame coming from a psychological perspective that we seek to heal our wounds as a people by relying on unprofessional testimony by individuals who have a vendetta against the opposite gender in their community. When you hear Sister Cynthia speak, you can hear a hurt and a pain and a hatred towards black men. We cannot find an effective solution to black male-female relationship issues or the oppression of black men or black women when the people at the table having the conversation have uh, emotional negative, emotional and pathological interest in the conversation According to Mrs. Cynthia G, Dr. King was assassinated because he was doing nothing. Malcolm X was assassinated because he was doing nothing. Mega Evers was assassinated because he was doing nothing. Fred Hampton was assassinated because he was doing nothing. That narrative that black men have done nothing to fight back against systemic oppression, not only against ourselves, but against our women, our children, our elders, and our community is absolutely ridiculous. The cemetery is filled with black men, names we know and names we don't know, who gave their life for the freedom, liberation, and emancipation of African people. How can you disrespect the history of so many black men, past and present, who continue to fight? I'm saying. R E X.